Hello everyone, this is Raven from DG Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 275. The legacy services for BlackBerry 7.1 OS and earlier BlackBerry 10 software, BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.1 and earlier versions will no longer be available after January 4, 2022. As of this date, devices running these legacy services and software through either carrier or Wi-Fi connections will no longer reliably functions including for data, phone calls, SMS and 911 functionality. The Directorate General of GST Intelligence or DGGI has launched a crackdown drive on cryptocurrency exchanges in the country since last week. This is because the cryptocurrency exchanges have apparently evaded goods and service tax worth crores. The central organization has told the media this came days after the DGGI has cracked down Wazirx, a leading cryptocurrency exchange firm in India. The crypto firm has been put under scanner at a time when India is under the process to prepare a legal framework to regulate how the digital tokens carry out operations in the country cryptocurrency wallets or exchange platforms are website through which customers and merchants can carry out trading of crypto coins like bitcoin ethereum doge coin and others some of the platform that have been raided on january 1st include coin switch kuber coin dcx and bit cipher labs and ani Hyundai has provided a new perspective the automaker which had a decommissioned ionic 5 wallet rivek has been turned out into an air purifier Hyundai has released a video the video shows part of the electric vehicle been disabled one by one following which the air purifier is been designed first the purifier steady take shape using the vehicle's parts the makers have incorporated the electric vehicle's filters its cooling fan its brake lights multiple body panels its emblem and also its 20 inch wheel the end result of the recycling process is quite impressive as many automakers including Hyundai have suggested several ignitions after using the electric vehicle Mercedes-Benz is the latest automaker to make a graph for a title the longest range electric vehicle with the reveal of Vision EQXX, a solar-powered concept car capable of exceeding 1000 kilometers on a single charge. Mercedes has been teasing this vehicle for several weeks finally and wheeled it at the Consumer Electronics Show in the Las Vegas. Lava has announced an exchange offer for smartphone users. The homegrown mobile brand has said that Realme 8s users can get its recently launched 5G smartphone Lava Agni. The offer can be availed by both 6GB and 8GB variant users of the Realme 8s. While both these phones run on the MediaTek Dimensity 810 chipset, Lava Agni 5G comes with a 6.78 inch screen and a quad rear camera, whereas the Realme 8s that comes with a 6.5 inch screen and only a triple camera setup. This offer is current Currently available across the country till 7 January 2022. Users of the Realme 8s can fill out an online form of Lava C Store and get a new Agni 5G phone in exchange. Agni Mitra, who is a customer service executive from Lava, will personally assist for the exchange process. OnePlus has officially confirmed to launch the OnePlus 9RT 5G on January 14th in India. This smartphone will hit the floors along with the OnePlus Buds Z2 True Wireless earphone. The launch is scheduled at 5 p.m. IST on OnePlus India's official YouTube channel. This smartphone will be exclusive to Amazon India and will also be available from the official OnePlus India website. Realme 9i has been officially teased by Xiaomi but the post was later deleted. This handset is set to debut in Vietnam first and gradually expand to other markets. The Realme 9i will have a triple camera setup, a side-mounted fingerprint sensor and a vertical stripes. Realme 9 series of smartphones is going to launch soon globally. Realme 9 Pro and Realme 9 Pro Plus will launch together and both will be a 5G devices. These devices are expected to launch by February 2022. Realme was the first brand to launch a 5G smartphone in India, the X50 Pro. The company saw an incredible growth in India, China, Europe to its 5G smartphone sales in the quarter 3 of 2021. Realme was able to outgrow the global 5G market sales year on year by a significant margin in the period. The Realme 5G smartphone sales grew by 831 percentage year on year whereas the rest of the market saw a global growth of 121 percentage on average. Transactions under Unified Payments Interface hit a record high of 456 crores in December 2021, surpassing the earlier high of 421 crores seen in October 2021. The total value of transactions in December was also a new record at rupees 8.27 lakh crores. December marks a 9 percentage in the number of transactions and a 7.6 percentage in the increase in value. The Xiaomi 12 series was launched in China last month. The lineup consists of a Xiaomi 12, Xiaomi 12 Pro and the affordable Xiaomi 12X. According to a new report, Xiaomi will be bringing these smartphones to India around March or April 2022. 
the upcoming Motorola Moto G71 5G will be launched in the second week of this month. Now, another tipster revealed that the phone will launch on January 10th in India. The Motorola Moto G71 5G will be launched as India's first phone with the Snapdragon 695 processor. It will have a 13 5G bands in total and will feature an AMOLED display. A new Pixel phone is tipped to launch in India by quarter 1 of 2022. The Pixel handset in the question could be a Pixel 6a and it may appear on the BIS certification site soon. The Pixel 6a is set to come with a 6.2 inch OLED display, a tensor chipset and a 12.3 megapixel dual cameras. The POCO M4 is set to launch in the global and Asian markets around early February. The key specifications include a 90Hz display, 64MP triple cameras and MIUI 12.5 based on Android 11. POCO M4 will be an upgraded version for the POCO M3. Liu Wei being posted that the Redmi team had officially entered the K50 universe in the promotional preparation. With Liu Wei being serving as a team leader that the flagship phone war in 2022 was about to kick off. Keeping Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge login password saved in this internet browser is pretty common practice. Most of us save password in Chrome or Edge to log in next time conveniently. It is usually considered quite safe as they are saved in our Google account. This feature is designed to avoid the hassle of remembering login details for every site you use. However, some IT researchers has warned internet users, especially employees working from home of the danger of having their Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge password being hacked. They have cautioned user against using such feature in any internet browser after a recent security breach that compromised a company. Redline stealers are the one who will steal the login details and the password. The malware reportedly steals sensitive account details and passwords from various sites including information to access the company's VPN. Hackers then use the data to keep a spy on the private business data there. The scary part is that malware has the ability to get into the computer or laptop even if it has an antivirus software installed in it. Talking about the malware and lab set that even though the account credentials stored in browsers is very convenient, there is a risk of leakage of account credentials if malware is present. LG has announced that it would be showcasing all of its latest display innovations under the theme of Display Your Universe at CES 2022. These solutions will not only be catering to people's ever-growing needs but also bringing along new experiences set to redefine the way people do ordinary tasks in their daily lives. WhatsApp has released its monthly compliance report for November. It has revealed that it banned over 17 lakh Indian accounts. WhatsApp also said that it received over 600 user reports. Crafton has shared some images for an upcoming PUBG New State map. The new map for PUBG New State will be launched in the second quarter of 2022. Crafton is expected to share more details about the upcoming PUBG New State map in the coming months. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.